Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm the Director of Chassis Sim Technologies. Welcome to this latest Chassis Sim video tutorial. What we're going to be talking to you about today is how to get going with Chassis Sim Online using the Chassis Sim tutorial. Now, before we get into the meat of what we're going to talk to you about, let me sort of outline where this tutorial is coming from. Where this tutorial is coming from is that, as you know, there are a couple of different models of how you can use chassis sim. If you're a, a professional race team, you can use chassis sim using versions such as um, chassis sim elite or chassis sim standard with the various toolboxes you use. Now, obviously, that gives you unlimited usage, and for um, a set um, cost, it um, uh, covers your support and um, updates um, for an initial fee and a renewal fee. Now, that's great if you're a professional team, but where Chassis Sim Online, and in particular Chassis Sim Professional Online, sort of falls into the mix, is it falls into the mix if you're a freelance engineer, if your or alternatively you're um, running your own privateer um, race team you don't have the budget for for, um, for a full um, uh, racing program but you still want to get the benefits out of um, uh, using simulation that's pretty much where chassis sim online falls into now one thing i'd just like to point out with um, uh, chassis, the differences uh, between Chassis Sim Online and um, uh, the uh, and um, the other versions of Chassis Sim is, for all intents and purposes, they're actually pretty much identical. Let me um, uh, show uh, show to you basically what happens when you install Chassis Sim Online. Now, I've taken the liberty of going to the, of logging in um, to the Chassis Sim website and downloading and installing it. So, when you install Chassis Sim Online, you go to Chassis Sim version three two four. It will install Chassis Sim as per um, what it would do um, for its full cousins. And it basically installs a Chassis Sim executable. Now, the only real difference between Chassis Sim Online and uh, the standalone versions of Chassis Sim is that every time you run a simulation, all that we're doing is checking to see how many simulations you've got. That's it. It is the only difference between Chassis Sim Online and uh, its, um, sta its standalone cousin. And the other major difference is that obviously you need an internet connection um, to um, run um, Chassis Sim Online. But again, the only thing we're doing is basically checking the Chassis Sim server to see how many credits you've got left. Everything else um, will be local to your computer. So for example, all the models you store are totally localized to your computer. We have no idea in terms of what you're actually doing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a good thing. That being said, I do realize that when you're on a limited budget, there is obviously a certain bit of apprehension in terms of, oh, hang on, you know what? I've paid for 25, 50 sims. You know, I'm just, you know, a little bit nervous about, you know, if I screw up, etc., etc. Well, guess what? One of the things that's been, that is now shipping in the latest version of Chassis Sim is if you go into the Sh your Chassis Sim Technologies, so Chassis Sim version 324 and above folder, and you click on the help, you're going to find something called the Chassis Sim Tutorial. Now, the Chassis Sim Tutorial is designed to get you through that beginner hump. It's designed to really help you get over those initial nerves of, oh, you know, I don't know what to do, etc., etc. Now, the documents that you see here is first things first, you see a complete chassis sim tutorial document and what this is going to do is this is going to walk you through everything that you are going to need to do to get going with chassis sim the other uh, things that we've provided to you is we've provided you with a completed car file so that um, you've got something for your reference we've given you a setup file we've even given you a monster file to help you get going and we've given you a data directory with the actual source data. So you've got everything you need there to help get you through that beginner hump. And to show you how easy this is going to do, I'm actually going to give you a quick walkthrough in terms of what you need to do. So what we've got is that we've got Chassis Sim Professional Online uh, that's been opened up. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, what I'm going to do 
is since uh, the chassis sim tutorial is a twin shock formula free car, I'm going to select my closest template, which is a uh, which is a Delara F310 car. I'm going to click on OK. Now, to quote the uh, uh, the Joker from the Dark Knight, I am going to show you a magic trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this. Um, I'm going to just minimise the chassis sim screen, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Excel document with all my setup parameters. So all I've got to do now is that I'll just minimize, uh, I'll just make that just a tad smaller. All I've got to do is this is my front setup and these are my rear setups, these are my springs, bump rubbers, dampers. So all I've got to do is, all I've got to do is go through and manually change what I need to change. So obviously I'll go through, um, select my um, units to you. So for this one, I'll change it to pounds, force per inch. Um, okay, it's already at 900 pounds. So I'll click on 900 pounds at the rear. The rear is 700 pounds. So, I, um, uh, so um, I'll um, change that. Now, one thing that I would suggest is when you're done, what I would strongly suggest that you would go to file, save as, and what we're going to do is we'll go to the chassis sim technologies um, folder, set up something in models, and we'll just call this F309. Um, and I've already set up a folder called Zanvort, and I'll just uh, uh, and I'll um, just overwrite that car file. And all you'll do is save it. So that will show you how simple it is to get going with a uh, with um, setting up your car file now just to expedite the process a little bit what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to load in the example car file that we've provided to you and i'll just go back to chassis sim version 324 go into help chassis sim tutorial and basically already um, load up my example car file and what i'm going to do is we're going to show you in, in a quick few steps about how you can set up a car file and how you can set up a bump profile so you can get going. So all we're going to do is go to circuit, create filter curvature file. I'm going to import that monster file. Click here to use a monster file. That was set to 50 hertz, so I sent that to 50 hertz. I'm going to set that to a moving average filter. I'm going to click on the output file, and I'm just going to call this track Zanvort F3. Click on open, click on OK. Just generated a curvature file. Let's now generate a bump profile file. So I'm just going to click in my monster import file. I'm going to click on create bump profile. Now, a lot of the defaults and chassis sim have already been set up for open wheel or use, so you actually don't need to touch this. But I'm just going to click on auto bump scaling, click on free, click on OK. And what this is going to do now is it's going to do a, um, it's actually now going to do um, the bump profiling. And you can see here there was a very slight delay. The only slight delay that was caused by was chassis sim communicating with the online server. So let's give this a moment and this will go off and we'll um, generate um, uh, the bump profile and we'll get back to you as soon as it's done. Okay, so we're just about getting to the end. So now it's going through, it's doing its thing. It's scaling up the bumps. And when it's done, the simulation window will um, shut itself down. And just to show you what it's done, this is obviously what it's, generate, what it's generated. I like to have a very quick look at the bump profile it's generated. When it's done with that, I'm just gonna re... Now, what I was checking for there is just to make sure the numbers weren't going silly. Honestly, I'm just being a little bit overcautious. You really don't need to do that. So I'm just going to call this bump profile Zanvort. And what I'm now going to do is I'll go to circuit, circuit data, load in my curvature file. I'm going to load in my bump profile. Click on OK. Now what I'll do is I'll go through and uh, if I wanted to, I would go through and uh, I, what I'll go through and set it up to a data logger of my choice. Now, I've already done that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, uh, on the Start Simulation button. Now, one thing that I will say, particularly since version 3.2.1, particularly if you're starting this for the first time, one of the things I like to do is click on Advanced Options, click on Allow Apex Speed by Corner Length. We've been finding that's been given a much, much better, uh, uh, that's really improved the behavior over bumps, particularly through the high-speed corner. So I would very much encourage you to click on Allow Apex Speed by Quantum Leaf. Click on OK. We'll click on the Start Simulation. 
And now it's going to go through and it's going to do its thing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is just how easy it is to get up and running with the online simulation using the chassis sim tutorial. That is just how accessible simulation is. And for as little as $5 a simulation, you can get going with, with this. So obviously you'll see on the Chassis Sim Online Simulation uh, website, we've got packages for a top-up pack um, for 25 sims, which is 125 Australian dollars, or for a race pack at 50 sims for $250. So honestly, for, as, uh, for what is even less than feeding the crew for a night at a race weekend, you've got 50 sims to play with. That is the resonant power that you've got with the online simulation. But while we're waiting for um, this to do its thing, let me sort of make this offer to you. For anyone who watches this video, uh, if you purchase an online, if you're, if you're a first time um, online simulation, if you're a first time online simulation user, we're gonna give you 50 free credits to work through the tutorial. So all that you'll need to do is you'll have 50 free sims to um, uh, you'll have 50 uh, you'll have 50 free sims to work through this document set it all up play uh, uh, play with various setup sensitivities um, uh, with chassis sim and all you've got to do is go through and follow this tutorial step by step and you can see for yourself just what a powerful pack! Uh, what a powerful and cost-effective package Chassis Sim Professional Online is. But look, don't take my word for it. Go for go to the uh, 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 go to the Chassis Sim website. Go to our online sim. If you're a new user, just simply fill in these de uh, uh, details. It'll take you through to um, the uh, online um, uh, simulation window. Buy a few credits. Um, we'll, uh, obviously, we will know when that happens. We'll give you um, 50 free credits on top of what you've already bought, and you can work through this tutorial. So you don't have to take my word for it. You can see it for, uh, you can see for yourself just what a powerful tool Chassis Sim Online is. So. We look forward to um, uh, seeing you using the online simulation and we will catch you at the very next Chassis Sim video tutorial.